Welcome back to the show. Back to talk about vegan foods. Now, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. We're not going to suggest necessarily you go on a fully vegan diet, but a lot of people are starting to implement it maybe two or three times a week for many different reasons. And my next guest uh, has a great idea for you bacon lovers out there. I am joined by uh, Chef Sam Lippman from Hooray Foods. Welcome to the show, Sam. Wonderful to have you here. And I think when people hear bacon, you know, they start to salivate. But this isn't your typical bacon that we're talking about about here, Sam, to walk us through it. Um, <clears throat> uh, hello. <laughs> uh, Hooray Foods Bacon is um, is a bacon made entirely from plants. Um, it's a coconut oil, rice flour, and tapioca base, and okay. it cooks and fries in its own fat, just like real bacon, um, without using pigs. Yeah, there's been a lot of innovations. Do you, do you see a growth, as I mentioned off the top, not necessarily people going completely vegan, but have you seen a growth in that particular industry over the last few years? Absolutely. I think people are really interested in how they can reduce their meat consumption. And like you said, it doesn't have to be every day. It could just be one meal a week or, you know, maybe they're cutting out meat at lunchtime um, or they just want to try stuff for curiosity so they can, you know, be open to every option available. Well, and people still want to, you know, have the, some of those traditional foods, like, for instance, bacon. You're going to make one of those traditional breakfasts for us today that everybody loves. What are you preparing? Uh, we have a um, plant-based egg benedict this morning. Um, so even the eggs are actually made from plants. These are just eggs um, made from mung beans. They scramble up just like real eggs. Okay. Um, they taste delicious. You really want to know the difference unless someone told you. Um, and then I've made a hollandaise sauce that you can warm up on the stove. Um, that's just made out of cashews um, with a little bit of uh, blended cashews with a little bit of spices and some turmeric for color. Give us some tips on how to prepare vegan food, because for those people who have never done it before, I mean, you know, the nice thing is that there's so many recipes available on online now that, that, that people can enjoy. But Sam, what are some of your tips on how to prepare it properly and perhaps how not to? Um, yeah, I mean, really, you can eat anything and for the most part, uh, make a plant based version of it if you choose to. Um, there are plenty of products in the stores now that are like a one for one replacement. Um, you're going to want to follow the cooking instructions on those pretty carefully. Okay. Um, some need to be cooked and treated um, like real meat, like our product. You actually have to slowly cook it for a long time to render all the fat out and fry it like real bacon. Other products might be ready to eat out, um, out of the package. Um, so definitely, like, pay attention to what you're doing. Um, but, you know, really you're still cooking, so just um, find your favorite foods and then look for um, items that would mimic the, the flavor, the color, the texture of your favorite animal-based dishes. You're going to assemble that sandwich there for us? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, so, English muffin. Um, most breads are um, most breads are dairy, uh, dairy-free, but you always want to check the packaging. Um, okay. Make sure they don't have dairy or eggs in them if you're looking to go totally plant-based. Um, just some sautéed spinach here. Nice. Um, this is our crispy bacon. So do you just, yeah, you mentioned you just cook that like any other type of bacon, like what, 90 seconds a side uh, sort of thing? Yeah, uh, we recommend you do like a longer cook to start um, because it's starch based. It's a little, a little soft when it warms up um, okay. and uh, you get a, get a crisp on both sides um, and then you just turn it every 30 seconds or so until it's as crispy as you want it. Excellent. All um, right. So we've got our spinach and our bacon. Um, this is the plant-based scramble. Okay. And then, and then the delicious hollandaise, hollandaise sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's like a normally uh, kind of creamy, lemony, uh, egg yolky flavor. Um, right. And you can really duplicate that just by um, thinking about what plant-based foods would um, taste the same. So like for stuff like this, like tofu or cashews are great. Um, and um, you can even cook this to get it a little bit thicker if you like, or um, you know, really. Like, it's up to you. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, just remember, you're still cooking. Um, it's all food. Um, and there are a lot of new products that can help. But really, you know, just have fun with it and eat what you like. Yeah, at the um, end of the day, you're still, you're still just enjoying, you know, the, the creation process. Um, uh, how, how long will that bacon last in, in your refrigerator? Like, how should I store it? Oh, uh, so um, uh, most stores should put a Best Buy date on it. Um, Okay. But uh, our bacon has a very long shelf life, like 45 days in the refrigerator. 
A lot of people are using air fryers now. I imagine you can probably use your air fryer to cook that as well. Uh, it would depend on your fryer. There's a lot of grease in our bacon, so you would oh, want to make okay. sure you have like a flat sheet in your fryer. If it's one with a lot of holes, you might get a big greasy mess. So I would be careful with air fryers. Um, but it's great in the oven and um, on the stove top. Yeah, and you have more tips, as I understand, on your website. What's your website, Sam? Uh, HoorayFoods.com, and that's also where our store locator is. Um, so uh, we're actually in Sobeys and Safeway and Thrifty Foods nationally in Canada, so you should be able to find us somewhere near you. Excellent. Sam, thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. You too. Take care. All right. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to tell you about a wonderful musical coming up um, with a little innuendo, perhaps.